All right, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about Schoology Google Drive assignments. It's an awesome new way that you can have your students all working on a version of a Google Drive assignment that you've made. So go ahead and click over to Add Assignment, and you'll notice right away that there are these two boxes, Google Drive Assignments and Cami. So um, go ahead and give it a title like normal, and go ahead and give it any kind of explanation you want. And you can add in any other resources you might want to down here, but honestly, that would just confuse your students. Go right to Google Drive Assignments, and you're going to go ahead and pick something that you've created just for this situation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up so you guys can see one that it was made especially for Google Drive Assignments. It may look normal, but one of the big things you have to pay attention to is after each question that you might add, um, go ahead and add a one by one table underneath each question. And what this does is it makes kind of a nice text box for the students to answer. So I'm going to go ahead and click out of this now. And I'm going to attach this document. As normal, you can select due dates, categories, and anything else that you might need to. Rubrics, you can create one or use a previous one that you've already done. And underneath here, just like normal, individually assign, publish to students, or you can hide it if you want to. Go ahead and click Create, and we'll jump over to see what one looks like. So underneath the assignment that I just created, you'll notice that I have my description and explanation just like I showed you in the previous window. Now, keep in mind that when your students open this, they're going to make a copy of whatever the most recent version is. So if the students have opened it and you go ahead and decide that you need to edit something, it's not going to work right. So please use whatever the most recently um, edited version is that you're happy with. Um, if you jump over to In Progress, you can kind of see what's going on here. So I'm going to check out uh, Tammy Nui, and I can actually see the document um, that Tammy's working on here. I can see where Tammy's working on. So it's kind of nice if you had a class full of students working on this, you can actually see live um, where they're entering stuff and all of that. Um, I could even open up the document right in Google Docs if I wanted to. Now we're going to jump over to submissions and as you can see Tammy has submitted her file here and we can go in, we can add comments however we want to by uh, clicking anywhere here and right clicking and saying comment um, or you might notice the keyboard shortcut whatever is available for your type of machine and also, if you wanted to do any grading, it would be right up in here, the rubric and the score that you could input. You can also unsubmit something if you want to say to Tammy here that uh, she needs to redo something. You can also jump over here and filter by graded, needs grading, late and on time, so it makes it a little bit easier to stay organized. Um, and also, as a failsafe, there's also a folder within your Google Drive called Schoology Google Drive Assignments and that'll make your life even easier. If for some reason this isn't working, just jump over there and a copy of the student's file is in there as well. So go ahead and give this a try. You won't be disappointed because it's gonna keep you nice and organized and it's gonna make a nice paperless situation for you.